on location at AQ Jewelers in Ashburn, Virginia. And this is today's Jewelry Consumer News. A growing number of younger jewelry consumers have been asking us about lab-grown diamonds. And today, we have two special guests to help answer your questions. Recently, one of the leading research companies in the jewelry biz, MBI Marketing, completed a study on the growing popularity of lab-grown diamonds. And with us here today is the president of MVI Marketing, Liz Chateline. Liz, welcome to Jewelry Consumer News. Hi, Lane. Can you tell our viewers some of the key findings in your recent research study? Our recent research shows us that 53% of consumers between the age of 21 and 45 are already aware of the term lab-grown diamonds. And after reading just a brief paragraph about lab-grown diamonds, 66% had a positive response. 5.5% were negative, and the remaining neutral consumer really just wants to see the stone live in a jewelry store, and they'd like to see a certificate of authenticity so they completely understand what the stone is about. Diamonds and diamond jewelry have been an emotionally powerful statement for consumers for so long. What are some of the emotions younger jewelry consumers talk about when they discuss lab-grown diamonds? In our research, we find that consumers are feeling very positive about lab-grown diamonds, especially with the millennials who are in the marketplace looking for engagement rings. Often, engagement ring center stone diamond is the largest diamond the average consumer is going to purchase, and they want to get it right. And millennials are very attracted to the fact that lab-grown diamonds were not mined, but are actually created by man, and brought to the marketplace rather quickly and in a more eco-friendly way. So this is very attractive to them and it's what they're starting to look for in the market. Thanks for spending time with us, Liz. Thanks, Elaine. Well, there certainly seems to be a lot of excitement growing for lab-grown diamonds among younger jewelry consumers. But what about jewelry styles and selections? To learn more about lab-grown diamonds, we're thrilled to have with us here today Zach Rossner of New Dawn Diamonds. Zach, as an expert in the field of lab-grown diamonds, what is your reaction to the recent research study? For example, why do you think so many younger consumers are gravitating so strongly towards lab-grown diamonds? Millennials love a good deal. They appreciate value, they're obviously well-informed, and they gravitate towards the eco and price benefits of the grown diamonds. Is there really no difference between lab-grown diamonds and mine diamonds? Physically, chemically, and optically, our grown diamonds match identical to the mine comparatives. If it matched 98%, it wouldn't be a diamond. So really, the only difference is the point of origin. Zach, are lab-grown diamonds available in different sizes? Yeah. Currently, we have thousands of grown diamonds readily available for any budget, and it's ready to be ordered. Um, I would say a strong majority of our goods are from half carat up to two carat. And which jewelry styles are lab-grown diamonds most popular so far? Yeah, we're finding that the majority of the styles that are getting completed are for engagement rings. Are lab-grown diamonds certified? Yes, they're all graded by IGI and GCAL. They are two uh, industry-recognized gemological laboratories. And keep in mind, we evaluate every single stone before we ship it out. So we're making sure that the stone that the customer had asked for is exactly what we're providing, regardless of the grade we're for. Sounds like there will be more to come on this growing new category of lab-grown diamonds, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching today's Jewelry Consumer News. I'm Elaine reminding you, when you give jewelry, you give love.